Every Dem down in Demville liked Obama a lot. But GOP that lived in the South did not. The GOP hated Obama and his whole administration, so they tried to spread their hatred across the whole nation. It could be because their guy didn't win. It could be because of his dark-colored skin. But I think the most likely reason of all may have been that their party had built up a wall. No matter the reason, the skin or the wall, GOP stood on the eve of the speech hating them all. Staring down from its tower with a great, worn-out frown, GOP listened to the school bell sound. They sat there saying, We know what he'll tell them. Obama will speak, and he will try to sell them, on all of the liberal dem-like baloney. But we'll show everyone that he is a phony. And the more GOP thought of this speech by the prez, the more it realized, We can't let them hear what he says. The GOP got an awful idea. All it would need is a bit of fear. Oh, yes, the answer was perfectly clear. If everyone thinks that the speech will cause harm, they will not let kids watch. They will sound an alarm. GOP spread the news to all far and wide. Do not watch the speech. Keep your children inside. Obama will fill their heads with his socialist views. Spread the word quickly. Call Fox News. Many people listened to what GOP said. They kept their child home and covered their head. Believing Obama was up to no good, kids stayed home from school like GOP said they should. They're finding out now that they won't hear him speaking. They're just waking up. I know just what they'll do. Their mouths will hang open a minute or two. Then the Dems down in Demville will all cry boo-hoo. So GOP paused and then put a hand to his ear. And he did hear a sound rising over the glow. It started in low, then it started to grow. But the sound wasn't sad. Why, this sound sounded glad. Every Dem down in Demville, the tall and the small, were singing. Without any good publicity at all. GOP hadn't stopped Obama's speech from coming. It came. Somehow or other, it came just the same. And the GOP, with his GOP feet ice cold in the snow, stood puzzling and puzzling. How could it be so? It came without commies. It came without tags. It came without welfare, tree huggers, or fags. And he puzzled and puzzled till his puzzler was sore. Then the GOP thought of something he hadn't before. Maybe Obama's speech, he thought, wasn't something to fear or abhor. Maybe Obama's speech, perhaps, means a little bit more. What happened then? Well, in Demville, they say, the GOP's numbers shrunk ten sizes that day. The minute they knew that their people were leaving, they stopped resisting and started believing.